Hello and Assalamu alaikum. This is Zafar Ali Khan and I am here with the lecture, a short lecture rather, for the uses of hexadecimal. So let's see this screen. Hexadecimal, often abbreviated as just hex, is a base 16 system that uses the digits 0 to 9 and letters A to F. Due to its concise representation of binary values, hexadecimal finds practical applications in various areas. So the first one is memory addressing. In computing, memory addresses are often represented in hexadecimal. It is more compact than binary and is easier for humans to read, making it preferred format for programmers and developers when dealing with low level memory operations. So by saying that, what do they actually mean over here is that there, when, when we are dealing with our RAMs or memories, actually, if it is 4 GB RAM, it means that there are 4 billion addresses. It, that means that every single address would be a very large address. And if you are dealing with that one single large binary address, there are chances that you're going to make errors to read and uh, write those binary numbers. So in hexadecimal form on screen and on paper, the hexadecimal number will take lesser space and it will be easier for humans to read, write, remember uh, the hexadecimal number. So it is basically helping us to produce less errors or no errors. So let's get back to the screen now. Debugging. Debugging means that we are actually trying to find errors or areas in a program where it is not actually working as we were expecting. So during software debugging, especially at the low level, memory dumps are frequently displayed in hexadecimal. So let's say what is a memory dump in hexadecimal. So basically what basically happens that uh, when we actually have a map of our RAM, everything in the RAM is in the binary form. So when we make a copy of the RAM and convert it to the text, what system does, it converts all the numbers in binary to its hexadecimal form and represent those along with their addresses again in hexadecimal. So you would have an address in hexadecimal and the content at that address again in hexadecimal. <clears throat> so that particular file which shows that at what hexadecimal address, what hexadecimal value was placed so that you could find out that what went wrong with your program. This is because hex is much more concise than binary enabling developers to quickly scan and understand large chunks of data. Then comes color codes. Color codes sometimes called HTML colors. Color codes in the web design. Colors in HTML and CSS. HTML is the language that is understood by the browser and CSS is basically the language that browser uses to uh, basically uh, beautify the pages. So colors in HTML and CSS are specified using hexadecimal values. For example, the color white can be represented as hash FF, 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 and you can conveniently see that these are actually three bytes. One byte, two byte, and three byte, and black as this. Then comes machine code. Machine code is, machine code simply means that it is a code in binary without any uh, adding without any addition of complicated word machine code is something that is represented in binary and can be understood by the processor directly without any intervention or help when developers or engineers are working close to the hardware machine instructions are often represented in hexadecimal this makes it easier to read write and understand the instruction and then computer would convert those instructions directly into binary and uses them mac addresses macs are basically media access controller device these are the devices the circuits inside your laptops your watches your ipads your tabs which enable your device to connect with the media and to upload and download the data so it means that without mac you will never be able to um, access the internet or any network for that matter the thing is that every mac in the world is having a, a, a a unique uh, address. So unique address, that distinction makes every single MAC address a very large number for about six bytes. So instead of mentioning or showing or writing or remembering that number in binary form or binary form, we rather prefer to have it in hexadecimal form. So MAC addresses in computer networking, the media access control address, MAC address, which is a unique identifier assigned to the network interface typically displayed in hexadecimal format. Then comes few file formats and data protocols. Hexadecimal is frequently used to present binary data in various file formats and protocols. Protocols are those software which enables something and data interchange methods. It's especially useful in situations where the data might need to be read or entered by humans. Cryptographic hashes. What does it mean cryptographic hashes? You might have heard of few types of keys, public keys, private keys, or some sort of keys which enable this 
encryption and decryption so these keys are basically generated by the computer then used by the computer in binary form but if humans are looking at those keys which are the golden thing for the cryptography we won't be able to see them and understand them in binary form so they are basically presented in hexadecimal form so these keys are basically called cryptographic hashes so cryptographic hashes or hash functions such as those in SHA family. SHA family is basically one well-known cryptographic uh, algorithm. Produces output that are often represented in hexadecimal. This makes the hashes more readable and easier to compare. Disk editing and data recovery. When using disk or file editing tools that operate at the byte level over the disk, data is often represented in hexadecimal. This allows for precise, precise editing and recovery operations in the event when you require your data to be recovered because of any contingency. Encoding binary data in system. So in systems where binary data needs to be represented in the form that can be safely transmitted or stored, for example, in XML document. XML document is not part of the syllabus, so let's not discuss about it. You can conveniently leave this example out of your definitions. The data is often encoded as hexadecimal. So let's wind it up. Hexadecimal provides a way to represent and work with data that bridges the gap between human readable notations and the binary format that computer inherently understand. So between humans and computer, there is a thing called hexadecimal that enables the whole environment to be understood by the humans without any complication. So that's about it. Uses of hexadecimal lecture.